There are different types of open content. Open courseware, open educational resources, massive open online courses, for example. And it's important to know what are the implications of using each. Open courseware. Open courses that include some, and in many cases, all of the components that make up a course. And this could include the lecture notes, the course readings, assignment tasks, examination papers, even the marking memos. Academics and course developers are encouraged to take and use the materials free of charge and without asking for permission. Open educational resources. These are teaching and learning, and even in many cases, research resources that have been released under an intellectual property license that permits their free use and repurposing or adaptation by others. OER could include things like course materials, modules of work textbooks, streaming videos, tests and exams are quite common, even software, and in fact any tool or materials or even a technique that could be used to support access to knowledge. Massive open online courses, or MOOCs as we often call them for short, are online courses aimed at unlimited participation and open access via the web. And they can attract classes in the tens of thousands of enrollments. But with MOOCs you do need to be a little bit careful. While early MOOCs often emphasized open access features, Lately, the majority of MOOCs used closed licenses for their course materials while maintaining free access for students. Okay, so let's summarize. Your OCW, your open courseware, are free to use full courses that allow adaptation, but you do need to check the Creative Commons license. OERs tend to be individual assets or resources that in most cases can be adapted. While MOOCs are free access to short courses, but you do need to check the copyright if you want to adapt the course for new purposes. 